Will German-made Leopard tanks go to Ukraine? That question is still up in the air, but it appears Germany may be softening its resistance after a meeting of foreign ministers in the European Union. If they lose this war, there won't be a Ukraine anymore. So it's very important as international partners to act together in our efforts to support Ukraine and for its right to self-defense. Thank you. Germany is also indicating that it would not stand in the way if other nations wanted to send their leopard tanks. Poland, which had said it needs German approval, indicated it might be willing to send them without it. We will apply for such consent, but this is a secondary topic. Even if we do not get this consent in the end, as part of a small coalition, even if the Germans would not be in this coalition, we will still hand over our tanks together with others to Ukraine. In the meantime, Germany is now preparing to send to Poland a Patriot missile defense system, citing a recent incident on the Ukrainian border. We unfortunately saw how quickly the conflict between Russia and Ukraine can spill over to NATO member countries when two Polish citizens lost their lives as a result of a missile. This is certainly one of the reasons why Germany will now also support the NATO eastern flank in Poland. In South Africa, Russia's foreign minister repeated a familiar accusation that the West is using Ukraine to wipe out Russia. But in his first briefing of the year, the European Union's foreign policy chief announced an additional $543 million in military aid to Ukraine and called Russian attacks on Ukraine barbaric. We have not seen any genuine willingness from Russia regarding a fair and sustainable peace. Ukraine has to win this war and we will support on the best possible way. A bipartisan group of U.S. senators also met with President Zelensky in Kyiv over the weekend. And even though the Pentagon is saying that America's Abrams tanks would require too much maintenance for the Ukrainians, those members of Congress are now warning of a global catastrophe if the Biden administration does not provide those tanks. Andy Rosgen, TRT World, Washington.